the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Verge time, random topic of the day. I want to talk about something they call the ESG score that these companies give. I think I might have the acronym right, ESG. But it's a score they get from uh, investors behind the scenes from companies like BlackRock and George Soros and people like that, you know, real evil people in my opinion, that force them to do videos that are pushing woke, perverted agendas. And if they don't, then they hurt their stock. Well, I thought to myself, maybe they are intentionally making these these once associated with American, this the American fabric and the American way kind of companies. Uh, I know Budweiser and Kellogg and Target and all them are internationally owned and invested in now, but they're associated with the American way. And, and what better way to tear down the American fabric than to uh, hurt some of the companies that have been associated with American society for ages and our protesting abilities they have as you have seen from people that adhere to a more morally correct way of life cost us people billions of dollars and so i think they're making these companies do that because they want to sink these companies so they can put other companies in place that they want to run society just a little something that i thought about maybe they're using our protesting abilities against us now, today's topic of the day is going to be Williams Winarney, a recruit, a five-star recruit from a defensive lineman from Missouri that committed to Missouri. But there may be some sort of shadiness or some stuff about it that may not sit well with a lot of people. Maybe not. Y'all can give me your opinion. But let's talk about it. Smith song says, we're back. We're back in the saddle again. That's why it's another episode of the Outlaw of College Football. And here they come riding in once again. It's the Outlaw Posse. Now, in effect. And today's four horsemen shout outs go to Hoss, Squidwater, Alpha Dragon Gaming, FTW. That's a mouthful. And Butch Kaufman are saddled up, mounted up, and ready to help us with this college football invasion today. And if you want to get your badge and get deputized and get your periodic Four Horsemen shout-out as well as other perks that are coming down the line, all you got to do is hit that join button next to the subscribe button. Two ninety nine a month, 75 cents a week. Also, we had a few donors to the show. The Stokes family with a big $50 donation through Cash App. Alice, Heath, and Austin. And Denison with a donation as well. Appreciate the hell out of those donations. Keep me up and motivated. Also, credits for this show go to Sheldon Lamy. He sent me a bunch of nice little nuggets about this topic today. Now, I can also be reached on Twitter at OCF. Now, getting right to it here. Seems like old Williams Winarney. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right because he's got a weird looking N next to the W in that name. I made a little light of that a few a few weeks back and people got a little aggravated at me, I think. But it's all in good fun. Y'all just got to learn how to develop a thick skin. But uh, seems like he has uh, committed to the Missouri Tigers. When I first saw this, I'll be honest, I was a little bit surprised, even though he's from Missouri. So I thought to myself, well, maybe he just wants to stay close to home and play football in his home state. But then, uh, like I said, my boy Sheldon Lamy, he uh, gave me some information that um, maybe this wasn't the case. Maybe it wasn't that he wanted to stay close to home because, from what I'm understanding, uh, him and his family are actually from Africa, and they came over here with the hopes of, you know, making it big and getting big money like a lot of people are when they come over here. Nothing wrong with that, but the thing is, he may have not committed to Missouri because he liked Missouri. He might have committed to Missouri because he was pressured by his extremely large family that come over here hoping to cash in on his abilities. I just think it's highly unfair to put all these, this pressure on these young athletes, man. But it happens all the time. You see it all the time with these relatives 
who you think have the best interest at heart for these these young athletes. I mean, you would think, you know, them being related and everything, that, that meant something. But I'll be honest with you, throughout the history of my life, I've learned that sometimes uh, people that you're related to sometimes treat you a lot worse than people that you're not related to. It just comes down to who's good people and who ain't. And sometimes their relatives are not very good people. And they don't have their best interests at heart. All they want is that money. And they want that money right now because of the the law that they have in the state of Missouri and I think in California as well, where they can uh, pay these high school seniors to stay in state and keep them from going out of state to other schools by giving them some kind of concocted NIL deal or something. I don't even know if it's really related to NIL. I think they're just, like I said, they're just doing it to try to keep other teams from coming in state and taking their money. And these relatives of this young man, they see the big money now. They don't care or they're not educated enough to know that he probably needs to go to a program where he's comfortable, first of all, and second of all, where he can get developed to be maybe an NFL player like they're wanting him to be. Because if he goes to the wrong program, he doesn't get developed properly. He's not even going to make it to the NFL. And that money that you got now, it's a nice little chunk of change, but it's not going to it's not going to suffice for the rest of your life or his. I just I just think it's extremely unfair. Uh, California's doing it as well. You know, that's something I think Linky Boy and them really enjoy because they think it'll help them build a wall around California and keep players in state. You, know, you can't even build a wall around that shit style called Los Angeles, but I won't stray onto that today. And he may have actually really wanted to play for Missouri. He may have wanted to stay close to home. He committed to Missouri over uh, teams like uh, Alabama and Oklahoma and USC. All those teams were vying for his services, and he chose Missouri. But the thing is, they're paying these players before they're approving things. I mean, I've never seen anybody come into a company. Now, there's there's extenuating circumstances where it could happen, but you come into a big time company like Exxon or somewhere like that, and straight out of college, you don't usually make a CEO salary, even if you're the top of your class. You don't go into a law firm making partner just because you were high in, in your class at Harvard. It just don't work out like that. You got to prove yourself at least a year or two. You would think. And all you're doing is enabling these athletes once they get the money to be lazy. And you end up you're going to break your athletic budget. Even if you got a shitload of money like Texas A&M, who got all those players, and a lot of them ended up transferring out. As well as Quinn Ewers, who went to Ohio State and ended up going to Texas after he got the money in Ohio State. Now, they may have had to pay that money back. I don't know. There may be some contracts in writing that say you have to pay it back. And if there is, that's a smart thing to do. And if it ain't, they need to do it. But the NCAA, who's always dragging their feet and paying attention to the wrong shit all the time, and they need to be done away with, in my opinion. We need a new governing body. They need to come in and do something constructive for a change and say, hey, look, you cannot get NIL money until you have merited that money. We're not trying to keep you from earning money, so don't try to do no lawsuit. You just need to come in and prove yourself through your freshman year, which be, could be it could be considered like a uh, – internship at a major company come in in your freshman year and prove yourself and then your sophomore year if you are great and you can show that you're great and people graded you as great then you're going to get a great nil type deal but you know it's just something that makes too much sense you want all you, know, you got is these these idiotic relatives out here that are ruining these kids it just ain't fair. And if you're one of those relatives listening to this show, you need to really think about what you're doing to your kid, man. I know they're not a kid and they're a young man, but they're still very impressionable, even though they're not really kids anymore. But that's all I got to say about that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. As I said before, you can join the Outlaw Posse if you want to. Get your badge, get deputized, get your periodic four horsemen shout out, as well as other perks that are to come. Also, got a cash out that I'm going to drop in the description section. It's a uh, money sign, JPC316. And with that, I'm out of here. KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now officially dismissed.